What up fellas, it's your boy Johnny. Welcome to the November Lookbook. If you are new to this channel, hi. I make a ton of content on my take with fashion, lifestyle, and personal development. And you should subscribe because I wanna feel cool. And because I said so. Anyways, today I'm gonna break down three different looks from three different genres of fashion. I'm always open to any style and I like to take what Bruce Lee said about martial arts. Taking what is useful, reject what is useless, and make it your own, which I apply to men's fashion. The first fit, I guess you can categorize as technical wear. I am very much a beginner in this genre of fashion, believe me, but tech wear is a style I feel not many guys touch, and that's because they don't really know where to start. But that's why we have the internet. There's a ton of great channels out there on the YouTube that can help you get started, and I'll leave some in the description. And my favorite channel that I learn a lot from is This Is Antoine. But anyways, tech wear has a heavy emphasis on function. So materials and accessories that actually function matters quite a bit. So initially, don't worry about brands like Nike ACG, Acronym, Stone Island, Cav Amped. Honestly, a simple windbreaker does the trick. So windbreakers do have a function. Typically, they're waterproof and super breathable. And this one comes from Mark Ass Brownlee. Big shout out to him. This was a super cheap price when it dropped compared to your big boy brands. I really like this piece because of its monochromatic color blocking going on. It adds a little bit more to the fit rather than the typical all black look. It's light, easy to pack, easy to throw on. However, I don't think he sells this piece anymore, so just head over to Uniqlo, pick up a Block Tech jacket. It's a super great price, and you're good. The sling bag comes from one of my favorite brands, Orbit Gear. I think the look is very unique, has a touch of olive and gray that contrasts really well against the black aesthetic, and it's waterproof as well functional. Cargo pants are a staple to the technical look. These ones come from Black Taylor. They sponsored many of my videos before, but whatever brand you like, or if it has a look you want, go ahead and pick one up. Another alternative cargo pants that I really like, like this one from Rothko. I'll leave a link in the description. You can pick it up on Amazon. But this pair in particular from Black Taylor has a nylon material, which is super breathable, and you can taper the pants yourself with the strap at the bottom, or you can leave it baggy. But yeah, I always leave it tapered because that baggy to tapered look looks amazing. Then we got black Nike Elite socks with shoe of the year for 2018, the Nike Element 87s. One of my favorite shoes, and it's comfortable with the React technology. It has a fresh and clean look that is pretty big in the technical aesthetic. A cheaper alternative are the 55s with the same silhouette, just different materials. And that sneaker is pretty big in the activewear athleisure industry, which does have some crossover with tech wear. Topping it all off with a simple black cap, but yeah, with the technical look, it always looks best when you fully commit to the look. So go learn how to hack, practice martial arts, and play cyberpunk all day. All right, that is not a requirement, but yeah, you really gotta fully commit to the whole entire look in order to pull it off really well. Whew, man, that was a lot. Anyways, this next look is a super minimalistic, almost casual menswear look. Starting it off with the main jacket is an overcoat from Zara that I picked up a few years back. I like Zara for their overcoats. They got a huge variety, but yeah, obviously there's other brands. I needed this one for those brick ass winners when I was living in New York City and just to look a little more formal. Sometimes you need a piece like this. Now it's a little less menswear-ish because I threw on a hoodie, but I don't know. I've always liked the look of a hoodie underneath an overcoat. Most menswear enthusiasts would recommend a scarf, which also looks really good. But if I don't want to throw on a scarf, I'll throw a hoodie on. And this one comes from Essentials. Shout out to my boy Jose and his brand. But yeah, black hoodie is a must and an essential for me and my fits. This one is fitted and less boxy, but I did go with the size large because I didn't want to look like a sausage. And the overcoat is already fitted on me, so you wouldn't want a drapey oversized hoodie to fill out the sleeves. At that point, you're gonna look like the Michelin guy. Pants come from one of my boys' companies, Tailored Athlete. A bit pricey, but it's super worth it. It's got five-way stretch, it's slim and tapered perfectly, and of course, with all black denim, Versatile AF. I cuffed the pants to show off the all-white sneaker from New Republic. It is a way cheaper alternative than the common projects. It's only like $90. It's white and white sneakers are life. Basically with this whole entire look, I just tried to follow the monochromatic color blocking scheme of just working with shades. One of my favorite looks, especially when I'm going out with my girl. Moving on to the last outfit is my take on my typical streetwear look. I'm wearing the same black cap from the first fit. The denim jacket was gifted by my girl and it was her grandpa's. This is the brand. I thought it was unbranded when I first wore it, which is actually when I filmed this video. So sorry if I said it was unbranded, I just, I wasn't paying attention, but yeah. Very vintage and 80s fitting. I really love the wash of this. And with jackets in general, throwing a hoodie underneath always spices up the fit and brings out the jacket itself. So I'm wearing the same black hoodie from earlier because it is an essential in my wardrobe. Same black pants. So let's talk about the accessories. Belt chain I got from Amazon. Technical belt from Amazon. Rings from Amazon. And a bandana from, you guessed it, Amazon. Yes, I'm not a fan of fast fashion and I choose to spend my money on Amazon. 
and also the same sling bag from the first fit. I really like to mix technical accessories with my standard outfits just because that's what style is man. Mixing pieces from different aesthetics that you like to create your own. And finally a classic sneaker aesthetic from the 80s released in 2017 by Yeezy. The Yeezy Power Phases. I have worn the shit out of these shoes because they are awesome and look great with pretty much any aesthetic. If you can't pick these up or the upcoming suede collection of Power Phases, just stick to the Reebok Classics or the Continental 80s. They're all pretty much the same exact sneaker. They've all gotten inspiration from each other and Adidas owns Reebok too. Plus it's hella cheap as well. I hope you guys found this video helpful. I don't want to be telling you guys how to dress. I just hope this video inspires you to pick up certain items or, or try out new aesthetics because that's what really fashion is. You know, you got to have fun with it because if you're copying everyone's exact fit to the T, man, then fashion just gets so boring and that's not what I'm about. There's going to be a ton of links in the description for all the cool kids to cop any of the pieces that they like. And also for some of them, just to be transparent, I do make commission because I am broke and the support means a lot. Follow me on Instagram if you haven't already at Fly with Johnny Ty for some coolish, coolish outfits. Give this video a like if you haven't already and comment down below your favorite outfit. And until then, stay fly, stay animosity free, be thankful all the time. I know this month is Thanksgiving, but yeah, and I'm out, bro. Peace.